Chapter Thirteen. Eeny, Kavini, Kapivitvak. It's been a long ride, two hundred and forty days. Some of us were starting to go bonkers and regretting leaving Earth. Some lost hope, and some of us were in tears. And for the rest of us, it was nails on the chalkboard. Then, on day two hundred and forty-eight, the ship fell silent. We reached the fourth rock from the sun, but we weren't the first ones there. A party was waiting for us on the landing site. They looked. A little yellow in the face, but appeared hospitable, and they seemed telepathic. They offered little Kitty a slice of pie. They made her forget all about the internet. They gave our doctors a recipe that could wake up Beelzebub. They took Sue to a sanctuary, where she found other birds of the same feather. And they showed the rest of the crew where they could go shopping. While the four of us, well, we proceeded to get a tree. A Martian was there to help us, and he looked like he's done this before. I asked him if they celebrated Christmas in Mars. He said. Of course, we all want a week's vacation. He told us to enjoy our stay. Then he reached into his suit pocket and asked us for a quick photo.